Pudgy is a little helicopter. He is brave, a little hero. Pudgy and friends are always working hard together. Pip and Chuck and Lionel in a new adventure. Pudgy! Rocketing rooters! Oh! Pudgy is a little helicopter. He is nippy, look at him go with Pudgy. Years ago, Sir Montague Fitzgibbon's family had been famous flyers. Sir Montague is going to present the Harefield Air Museum with their most successful aeroplane, the Golden Gull. Yes, I look forward to seeing it here, standing proudly. It'll certainly put these silly-looking modern machines to shame. I believe that it has stood outside your stately home for almost a century, Sir Montague. Hmm? Ah, yes. And, boy! Not there! Do I have to explain everything? Our invited guests will be here tomorrow morning. They want to see me unveil the Golden Gull, not you messing with these chairs! I hope you'll remember to write and thank your aunt and uncle. We will, Mum. It's a lovely birthday present and you've done a great job of building it. Yes, but we'd never have got the engine right without Mike. Will it be ready to fly this afternoon? Easily. And Mike is coming to help. Right. Here's your cocoa. Come and get it before the rush starts. I say, you! You're to come with me to Pittsgiven Hall. You talking to me? Yes. We need someone to help with the removal of the Golden Gull. Yes, Ken. It's a bit out of the normal line of work. Uh, but it'd be a big help if you could go with some of you. All right, Mr Harrison. But not until I've had my tea break. Hmm. Lionel to Budgie, there's been a change of plan. I want you to take over from Chuck up at the Valley Dam. He's moved all the really heavy loads. What's Chuck going to do? He's off to Fitzgibble Hall, doing a job for Sir Montague. Phew, rather him than me. Hmm. The ours is not the reason why. Right, off you go then. Bye, Lionel. The gull is this way, Mr. Wrench. And please do not walk on the grass. There it is, the golden gull. It's not a plane, it's a statue. Unfortunately, it's right in the middle of the space we need for the new swimming pool. Swimming pool? Yes, I'm turning this into a luxury hotel, and we must have a swimming pool. Hello? This is Sir Montague Fitzgibbon speaking to you. I say... Man, that is one cool plane. Yeah, and if I move the joystick, it can do really good stunts. Isn't it beautiful? Don't 
bring the whole thing down. Send for help. Use your telephone. Get shot back. Hello? Airfield? Requesting assistance. Send that helicopter back at once. The fish give it all. Hello? Hello? Do you mean me? There's something wrong, Mike. It's not working. Someone's using a wrong frequency. It's interfering with the controls. Can't you do something, Mike? The plane is going out of control. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. But, like, it's too much. Did you see it? Did you see where it came down? It didn't come down, Mike. It went straight on. And on. It's gone. How will we ever find it? Oh, man. This is tragic. Like, really sad. Lionel to Chuck, do you read me? Over. Chuck to Lionel. I read you, Lionel. But there's a lot of noise on the line. What's up? There's been a problem at Fitzgibbon Hall. They need help. Where are you? I'm at Oakford Rail Yard. And this golden gull weighs a ton. Well, you'll just have to put it down somewhere. Is the rail yard a safe enough place? Yes, it is. The old aircraft should be safe as house, is there? Pippa to Budgie. Come in, Budgie. This is an emergency. Reading you loud and clear, Pippa. Ben and Lucy have lost their model plane. It flew away. It was heading in your direction. They're really sad about it. Oh, that's awful. I'll be going home soon, Pippa. If it's along the way, I'll find it. Fairfield, if you do not send help, I will not. I will take back the golden gull. Model plane, Snowy. We're not going home until we do. This gets worse and worse, Snowy. It'll be dark in half an hour and we'll. Hey! What was that? Rocketing right to Snowy. There it is. Easy does it, Snowy. We don't want to lose this cargo. Oh, no. What'll Lionel say about this? Well, here we are, Snowy. I can't wait to see Ben and Lucy's faces when they see their model plane again. Oh, no. Everyone's in bed. Hmm. Where will I leave it so that Ben and Lucy can find it in the morning? to which I am sure you are all very grateful to be invited. But before I proceed to the unveiling of this noble aircraft, I would like to give you a short history of the Fitzgibbon family's involvement in flying. It all began on a day in 1902. My great grandfather. On the achievements of our family alone, it may be said, the whole of modern aviation rests. Therefore, it is with great pride that I now unveil this life-size replica of our most famous creation. The Fitzgibbon Golden Gun. <laughs> this is an outrage! How can you laugh? Look, Ben, look! Come on! If I fight, if I find that any of you are responsible... Thank you for finding our plane, Sir Montague. Without 
be Sir Montague Fitzgibbon? Yes, yes. What is it? Uh, I'm a station master at Tukahaki, a wee spot north of Aberdeen. We have a fine, big model aeroplane of yours here, Sir Montague. If you want it returned, you must pay a thousand. But uh, what we to... Don't you dare to... It is... No, no, it can't! Poor Sir Montague. I hope that you had nothing to do with this budgie. Me? How could I? I never even heard of Tukahohi. Do you ken that this is a reverse charge call? Oh, it is a fearful thing to waste so much money over a few train tickets. Are you there, Sir Montague? 